Silicon Designer is the premier platform for designing documents online. It runs on top of Adobe InDesign Server. Silicon Designer works with a wide range of documents, from business cards to banners, bottle labels to brochures, door hangers to greeting cards, photo books, magnets, postcards, posters. And when it comes to editing these documents, no two Silicon Designers look the same. Here's a Silicon Designer for photo books, where I'm changing the layout of a page. Here's a Silicon Designer for flyers, where my text is copy fit as I type. Here's a Silicon Designer for newsletters, where I'm changing color themes. Here's a Silicon Designer for 3D products, where I'm visualizing the final experience. How does this all work? Let us look at the life cycle from beginning to end. There are just three phases. First, you set up templates and use our admin module to upload these to the web. Next, users edit the templates through a browser, creating their own documents. Finally, these documents are rendered to print output. Let's look at each of these phases. First, setting up document templates. We do this in Adobe InDesign. The Silicon Designer template editor lets you define how users are going to edit online. In the course of setup, you say which document objects are editable. In this example, I'll set this field to be editable, while leaving this one static. With Silicon Designer, you can set image and text variables. By selecting a string of text and choosing a field from a database, you can make values auto-populate when the document is loaded into the editor. I'll set this text to the branch variable and this one to the branch URL variable. Now I'll package it to make it ready to deploy to the web. I will upload the packaged output into the Silicon Designer admin module to create the online editing experience. Now I'm in the web browser and I can see the document just as it looked in InDesign. I can edit it on a desktop computer or on mobile devices. Users enjoy the editing experience that was defined at the time of template setup. Note that the variable values flowed into the variable text strings that I defined earlier. I'm going to make some simple edits and save the document. Finally, a high-quality, print-ready PDF is created based on the user edits. What you see in print output is exactly what you saw while you edited the content online. You can contact us for more info about Silicon Designer at siliconpublishing.com designer.